What's up guys, tguys 23 hd here with It's NHL, the Chill Network, and Energizer bringing you the Team of the Week predictions for December 6th, 2017. You may have noticed that the length of this video is longer than the 2-3 to three minutes that it normally is, and that's because we've got some extra content for you this week, so stay tuned for that. But we're going to start off with the first offensive line, like always, the forwards. And first up, we have Blake Wheeler. In four games last week, Wheeler recorded 10 points, split between 2 goals and 8 assists. Team of the Week Wheeler would be a really good card, and would be really hard to knock off the puck because of his big size. The second forward, also from the Jets, is Mark Scheifele. Scheifele had 3 goals and 6 assists last week for a total of 9 points. Team of the Week Scheifele would be a really good all-around center. The final forward on the first line is Radic Foxa. I hope I said that right. Foxa scored 5 times last week, and tacked on an additional 2 assists. His Team of the Week card really wouldn't be anything special. The first defenseman on the first pairing is Cam Fowler. Fowler recorded 4 points last week, split evenly between goals and assists. Team of the Week Fowler would be a pretty average defenseman. Next to Fowler is Josh Morrissey. Like Fowler, Morrissey also recorded 4 points last week, but his was split between 1 goal and 3 assists. Team of the Week Morrissey really wouldn't be anything special either. The goaltender this week is Carey Price. Price led the Canadians to a 4-0 week, in which he made 120 saves and 114 shots. And now, bonus content. We are doing second lines this week, and second D pairings, so unlike the first lines, these are based on defensive performances only, and are therefore much harder to predict, um, because EA uses a wide variety of stats to pick these, as well as their own random judgement, it seems like. Christian wanted to try it out this week, and uh, it's a good idea, and I think as it goes on we'll be able to get better and better as we start figuring EA out more. So don't kill us if they're wrong, we're just taking a stab at it, and uh, the first second line forward is Jamie Benn. Benn led NHL forwards in block shots last week with 8, and he also had 8 hits. Team of the Week Benn would be a really good card both offensively and defensively. The second second line forward is Austin Watson. Watson had 14 hits last week, as well as 5 blocks, and he also didn't take any penalties. Team of the Week Watson would be a usable card, but not really a good card. The final forward from the Columbus Blue Jackets, Brandon Dubinsky. Dubinsky recorded 13 hits last week and blocked 6 shots. He also had a face-off percentage of 54.5% and a shorthanded point. Team of the Week Dubinsky might be a nice forward to have on your fourth line just to throw in for the penalty kill or something, but he really wouldn't be much overall. The first second pairing defenseman is Chris Russell. Russell blocked 14 shots and had two takeaways, and had a really good defensive week other than, you know, putting the puck in his own net. His Team of the Week card would be pretty average. The final defenseman is Alex Goligoski. Goligoski led the NHL with 16 blocked shots last week. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Be sure to check out everyone in the description down below. And be sure to leave a, leave a comment letting me know what you think of the defensive predictions. And I'll see you guys next time.